everyone, welcome back to the Stay at Home Garden Lessons. Today we're going to talk about why flowers are good to have in your garden. Not only are they beautiful and they smell great, but they actually can be really good for attracting good pollinators that will come to your garden and make your fruit and vegetables bear more food, but they can also help confuse and push away the other bad bugs and pests that you don't want in your garden. Plus, they're good for ground cover, so instead of weeding all the time or putting down mulch, maybe cover up your ground with lots of flowers. Some of my favorite flowers to have in the garden are marigolds, nasturtiums, calendral, borage, zinnias, and cosmas. There are a few more that I love, like sunflowers. All of these flowers have many different reasons as to why they are good to have in your garden. And there are many more flowers other than the ones that I mentioned above that are great to have. Flowers are said to be good for your garden to confuse the pests that come in and want to eat your plants. They can do that with their smell or their color, but there's also other plants that are said to do the same thing, like herbs or garlic, onion, dill, mint, and many more. But beyond that, flowers can increase the biodiversity in your garden, which increases the health of the soil, which makes the plants happier and produce more, and it gets your pollinators busy. Cosmos are one of those flowers that can attract really good bugs into your garden and happy pollinators. Zinnias are an example of a flower that is called nectar rich. So it's a really easy flower for a pollinator like a bee to come into and it has lots of tasty treats inside for those pollinators. So it attracts all the good pollinators into the flower and the garden which then helps pollinate the other flowers in the garden that might be actually on your vegetable plant like a tomato or a pepper or an eggplant. All of those flowers really like when they have other pollinators in there helping them pollinate. Although zinnias can attract really good bugs, they can also be a trap for the bad bugs, just like the flower nasturtiums, which nasturtiums are edible. Now you might think, why would I want a flower in my garden that attracts some of the bad bugs? But that's because you can use them as a trap. You plant them on one side of your garden, like a nasturtium, and then you plant your leafy greens and your broccoli and kale on the other side of the garden because all of those aphids that want to go eat your tasty vegetables will be attracted to your nasturtiums on the other side. So they'll go over here to the nasturtiums and leave your plants alone. Flowers can also help increase shade for the other plants that don't really like the hot summer days or they can become natural trellises. Like if you grow a sunflower and have light, small varieties of cucumbers crawl up your sunflower. In addition, some legumes and cover crops have beautiful flowers that can cover the ground so no weeds grow in, and they can put nutrients back into your soil like nitrogen, where other plants like tomatoes and peppers might take the nitrogen out. Now one last thing that flowers are really good for are covering the ground. So having a ground cover where you don't have to weed all the time, but it's something beautiful and it's, you're happy to have it take up space. So things that flower or maybe herbs like thyme, plant those around the ground to have a ground covering instead of mulching or weeding all the time. Thanks for watching this video today and have fun planting some flowers in your garden. Make sure to try out the tasty ones like nasturtiums and have fun, cut a few and make a bouquet. Have a great day.